Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are brand new, welcome. I'm super glad to have you here. My name is Jessica, also known as Chic Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, the pre-loved market, and workwear. So today's video is kind of a combination of all three things. This is going to be my repair experiences. So I'm going to be talking about getting repairs done at two different fashion houses. The first is Louis Vuitton and the next is Burberry. And I will be discussing sort of the process of that, the expense of that, why I think it's worth it, and all of that. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start in order of when I got these repairs done, which repairs came first. So the first thing I got repaired was my Burberry Classic Vintage Trench. So as you can see, this is the vintage, it's Burberry's. In the 90s, it was changed, they dropped the S to Burberry. So this is pre-90s and I absolutely adore this trench coat. I love the three quarter sleeves, I love the length, I love the military style buttons. All are just really wonderful. Now, this coat I found pre-loved on eBay at an awesome, awesome price. The issue was, and the reason I got it for such a good deal, was because it was missing, I think, all but three of the buttons. So I looked into it before I bought it and found out that I could have Burberry send me new buttons. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to take the chance. And I also had to get it dry cleaned. It had a couple little minor stains, most of which came off. The other issue was that the leather is peeling on the belt straps and the actual, oh, it's down here belt that's okay honestly it adds character this is over 30 years old so really I'm honestly happy enough with that it doesn't really bother me it adds some character and I just I love that this is this vintage classic piece that will withstand the test of time and it has certainly withstood the test of time for the last 30 years so what I did is I did not go into a Burberry store for this one. All the other repairs were done in person. This was done online. So I contacted the Burberry support and I asked them for um, sort of the steps. What do I do to get new buttons? And what they had me do was send pictures of the trench. So I had to send pictures of the interior, pictures of the tag, pictures of the tag in the pocket. If you've never shopped for Burberry, know that the size and everything is usually inside of the front pocket. So I had to show them all of those tags as well as a close-up of the buttons that I did currently have on the coat, which was only a few. So there are a significant amount of buttons on here, and I think they wound up sending me like 20 buttons or something because they couldn't find an exact match. So what they did was just give me all new buttons so that I could get them replaced, and I had my tailor put those on. So it was really an easy process. I think they charged me something like 25 or 30 dollars for the buttons and shipping them to me it was very inexpensive and it was great to be able to get these actual Burberry buttons from this time period get them put on this coat and it really just made it special and made it such an, an awesome coat that was still able to be purchased all in all told for a really really great price so I was really pleased with my Burberry experience there so then when I had another Burberry experience, I knew that their customer service was great and I was happy to get repairs done with them. So I figured I may as well continue. I actually got this Burberry coat fixed at the same time that I got my Louis Vuittons, except this one was done in the same day that I brought it in. So this trench is a much newer trench, as you can see, Burberry London. This is the new tag. So this coat is, I think, about four years old, four or five years old. So these go for a lot more money than the vintage ones do usually. And I got a really, really awesome deal on this, again on eBay. And I was a little bit worried because I wasn't sure what I was going to be able to do. I knew that I could get the buttons fixed. And if I needed to get these ones, you know, they say Burberry London in them. I thought I would be able to get those. But what was missing on this coat, there were no stains. It was in perfect shape. What was missing was the belts. So not only the belt that goes around the waist, but also the belts that go around the wrists, wrist belts, wrist cuffs. So I took it into Burberry and I said, what can you do for me? And they have a special floor that you go to. Uh, I went to the Fifth Avenue store. It's actually, is it Fifth? It's between Fifth and Madison, I believe, in New York City. So that's where I went and that is the uh, the large store, the flagship store in the U.S. So that's the store I went to and they had their own floor for repairs. 
And I went up there and it was really awesome. And what she said to me is, we don't actually have like a back stock of all of the different buttons and belts and all of the different sort of accessories that come. What we do is we, when someone tries to repair and it is beyond repair, and they sort of give it back to us or something's an issue with the coat and they can't keep the coat, they take off all of the accessories and they store those. So they have as many as they have, uh, but unless it's something that's really current or within the last year or two, they're not gonna have a huge amount of stock. So she said, let me do what I can and find the closest sort of um, pieces that match this coat because this coat's a couple years old. So one awesome thing I want to point out is that if you buy something pre-loved and you're not 100% sure about authenticity, if there is something wrong with it, you can bring it in for repair. They will not repair something that's not authentic. So they checked over the coat, made sure it was authentic. So I basically got someone to give me an authenticity guarantee for free, which was great. And that's also something that I've done with Louis Vuitton. I, and I'll get into that repair story in a little bit. But so she said, let me see what I could do. She went downstairs, she went into the stock room, checked everything out, and basically came up and said, you know what, we have the wrist belts for this coat. And it was awesome, I was so excited about that. And she's like, and we don't have the belt, the waist belt, but we have something kind of similar. The issue is it had this giant, um, you call it a head, the buckle of the belt, was like this big and white and did not match the rest of the coat. So she's like, what I will do is I'll go find another leather piece and we will exchange that off of this belt and do this one. So what the belt looks like is, I don't know if you can see, it's a different fabric. So it's not exactly the same fabric as the rest of the coat. The rest of the coat is very, it's like a packable trench. Um, it's kind of like this nylon material, I guess. It really feels like a raincoat. Whereas the other one is a little bit more of like a heavier twill or something. This one, so this is not that material, this belt, but they were able to find a buckle that matched these buckles. So it was able to still be found. It all matches the buttons. All of it is really great. And I said, you know what, that's fine. I will take that belt as well because I was excited to have something that did work. And I knew if I tried to find just a random matching belt, that would be almost impossible to do. So I said, yeah, I will take it. And basically what it was, it was about $25 for each piece. So it was $75 and then I think I paid 80 or 85 in total with tax. So that's how much it costs to do the repairs. And since I got the coat for such an awesome deal, together it was still a really great deal. This coat retailed for over $1,000. So I was really pleased with the price that I got it for. And I know that if I'd bought this pre-loved in this great of condition with all of the accessories attached, there's no way I could have gotten a better deal. So I was really pleased with it and they did it in the same day. The whole process took probably about half an hour. They were really nice and all of it was really wonderful. So I definitely recommend if you have something from Burberry and you're looking into getting it repaired or there's something wrong with it or missing, it's probably still worth the buy, especially if you can go into the store and get it repaired. So the next luxury fashion house I want to talk about is Louis Vuitton, and that is the other place that I have gotten repairs. I am actually going to be taking something into Mulberry for repair. I haven't done that yet, so I can expand upon this later if you'd like me to, if you want to hear that story, especially since Mulberry. And actually, all of these brands are European brands, but Mulberry only has a few stores in the U.S., so it's a much smaller fashion house here than it is in the U.K. But alas, the Louis Vuitton on... Fifth Avenue in New York City is the one that I usually go to and actually first time I ever took something in was my first luxury bag ever um, that's actually not true I have a bag for my honeymoon but the first Louis Vuitton bag I had was a vintage speedy from like the 80s and the zipper had been replaced outside of Louis Vuitton so I took it in to see if I could get the zipper would get kind of stuck and the people were so nice what they said is you know what the this was replaced outside of Louis Vuitton so we cannot do the repairs which I understand and it also had a little bit of cracking along the zipper so something that they are not going to repair but what he did was tell me you know what this is an authentic bag let me show you how I know and then he said the you can put some candle wax along the zipper and that will make it slide more easily and I went home and I did that and it did work and I, he also sent me back with a dust bag and a bag which was really really sweet 
And so I basically got my bag authenticated, got some awesome treatment, and even though they couldn't do the repair, I basically was able to do it myself at home because the issue was this kind of needed this candle wax in order to work better. So that was my first one. I didn't actually get a repair done, but I had a really nice um, service, I guess, from them, a really nice atmosphere. They were very nice and I enjoyed that process. So the next thing that I got repaired was a pochette accessoire, which I'll show you in just a second, as well as a bag. And I took these in when I did my luxury um, NYC come shopping with me vlog. And I actually took the Burberry trench in the same day that I took these bags in. I just got them back, so it took about, I think it was a month and two days from the day I brought them in to get them back. And I did not go pick them up in store. They were in store a few days earlier, so I could have gotten it in less than a month, but I had them ship it back to me, which I want to add they did for free. So if I had shipped it to them, I would have had to pay for that cost, but shipping it to me once it got to the store it was free of charge. So this is my pochette accessoire, and what I had them fix, as you can see, the zipper is wavy. It is what it is. It's vintage. <laughs> Uh, all, everything was good except it was actually completely missing this zipper pull. So it just had an old zipper and I had to kind of like take it, take my hand like this to open it and so it didn't really work out so well. So I wanted to get a new zipper pull and so what they did is they just replaced, instead of just adding this part, they replaced the full zipper for me and that was free. No charge no charge to get it fixed and no charge to have them send it to me. So it was really awesome and I was like, yes, I will definitely do that. I will take advantage of that. And it took a few weeks, but it also got, helped me know that this was something I bought from Fashion File, a uh, Fashion Files outlet, so I wasn't really concerned about authenticity, but it's nice to get it double checked anyway. So what they did is their repair center is out in California. So they got this, they sent it out to them and then they sent it back to the Fifth Avenue store. They called me and then sent it back to me. So that's what happened with this one. I couldn't get the actual zipper fixed. This is something that happens because the canvas has sort of melded to this shape, I guess, because it is older. They think it probably got some like humidity damage or water damage at some point. I use this as a, just a little pouch that I put in my bags, especially when I'm traveling. I have also used it as a little like running out the door kind of a bag. I'm really okay with it having that. I know a lot of people wouldn't be and that's totally fine. I got a really, really great deal on it. And so it was worth it to me. And now that I have the zipper bowl, it makes it a little bit easier and it's good to have. But regardless, no matter how you feel about this, it's nice to know that they will replace these if they get tarnished or if they fall off or whatever the issue is, they will replace these for free. So that is nice to know. And the service was great. So it's located on the fourth floor of Louis Vuitton. I came in and I said, okay, I'm going to get this fixed. She looked me up in the system. I did not need to have a receipt or anything, which I didn't have. They just checked over the bag, made sure it was real. And I happened to already be in the system. So she had my information for where I was going to have it sent and all of that. But if I hadn't, I would have been able to sign up there and it would have been fine. She was so, so sweet. And then she explained the whole process to me. I signed a little waiver um, contract sort of thing that would have said if it had cost money, right, that I would have paid that money to have it repaired. And then she sort of said, okay, that's fine. And I said, you know what? I have one more bag, the bag I'm actually carrying today. And I just want to know if it's something that can be repaired because if it can be repaired, I'll bring it in the next time I'm around because I'm using it today. So I don't have anything else to put all my stuff in. And so she checked over the bag and it is the Louis Vuitton Chelsea bag. So I probably should show you this side, which looks like the side that wasn't as folded. And what the issue was is I had a snap on one side. I don't know if you can see this snaps under here, but the other side was missing the snap. So I did not actually have a snap on the other side. The zipper would just stick out. And I actually cannot remember which one had the snap already and which didn't. So that's probably a good thing, right? So she, she looked around and she said, yes, we will be able to fix the snap. The snap is not something that is free of charge, but let me look up how much it will be. And she checked over the bag. So again, another sort of way to get authenticity. I did buy this one on eBay, I believe. So it was good to get that checked. And she said, you know what? The snap is going to cost $30. We still won't charge you to ship it back to you. 
And I said, okay, you know what, I will do it. And she said, well, you know, it is easier because it does take a few weeks. It is easier to send both out together. And I said, okay, well, what do I do? Because I don't have another bag with me. I had stuff in this bag. And she's like, well, if you want, I'll give you a large shopping bag and you can just put your stuff in it. And I said, okay, well, I'm not going to be back for a long time. And if I want this bag before the semester starts, because this was the beginning of July, and she said it could take up to six weeks. I was like, you know what? Okay, so I don't want to wait because I do want to get this fixed. I'm already here and I definitely don't want to pay to send it to them. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let's see. And she went and she found me three different size shopping bags so I could pick whichever one I felt was best. And I put all of my personal items like in my pockets and I was wearing like a longer shirt. So she's like, you can't even see it. She was so sweet. She was so funny. And so I was like, okay, you know what? This is the end of my shopping day. I'm just going to my friends and I have a small bag actually at her work because I'd been staying with her when I was in New York. And then I was just going to visit my family from there. And so I didn't really need the big bag. I was only carrying that big bag around the day in the city. And then I had a small crossbody with me. So I was like, all I have to do is get from here to her work. It's the end of my shopping day, fine. You know, and then get, and then get to my family's house. I was like, okay, I'm just going to do it. So I'm walking around all day with this, or the, for the last little like few hours of the day with this large Louis Vuitton shopping bag. And everyone was like, oh, what'd you buy? And I was like, I didn't buy anything. <laughs> this is just holding my stuff. So it was kind of funny. And um, Grace from Grace and Her Handbag, I sent her a picture and she's like, there are worst handbags. There are worse, worse bags you could pick than just a Louis Vuitton shopping bag. And I said, you are correct. So it was kind of funny. But anyway, so I decided, fine, I would just take it in. And she was so nice and she sent them both out. This took longer, I believe, than the zipper did, but they sent them both back to me together. So it was still that month and two days process. The entire thing was, I think, $32 with tax um, for both bags to be sent back to me and repaired. So I was really pleased with it. It made a difference. I asked her about the straps because that is not my favorite thing about this bag, that the straps curl and I like to wear it on the shorter setting. If I wore it on the longer setting, it wouldn't be an issue because the weight of it would kind of keep them straight. You know, it would be down here. So the only thing that would be curving is this tiny bottom part. And she said, well, we could replace the straps but it is costly and um you know i don't you'd have to just get them totally redone and it's likely that it would happen again and i said yeah okay it's probably not worth me doing it then i didn't even ask her how much it was which in retrospect i probably could have had her look up and it would have been easy enough to do but that was the only other thing that really bothered me about this bag and the shape of it is nice but it's a little bit longer than i needed so anyway what i will be showing in my next video is this compared to a new bag I bought in Tommy Air Ben, which I actually bought to replace this one. So I am gonna be selling this one. I now 100% know it's authentic because I had it taken in and they sent it into the shop and all of that jazz. And it's basically been fixed. The only thing that is an issue is this and like a few little marks here and there on it, but it's a really great bag. So this is the Chelsea and I walked in and she goes, oh, that's the Chelsea, right? She remembered which one it was because it has been discontinued. So anyway, I'll give you more details about this bag in the next video, and you can see the comparison between the two bags and see what I replaced it with. It'll be a little bit of a reveal. I'll, I replaced it with another discontinued bag, so nothing that's new that you can buy right now, but I'm really pleased with it, and it was definitely the better option for me. But anyway, that is a totally different video than this one. This one is about the repair story, and I have to say that my repairs at both Louis Vuitton and Burberry were really great. They really treated me well. I felt like a valid customer even though I didn't buy these things from them in store I did buy them pre-loved so I definitely think it's worth getting it done yes I could have bought a snap for less than $30 but the snap had to be sewn into the inside of this strap or this side whichever one it was and I just thought you know what I it's worth the cost to just have them do it it's only $30 I I, I get to know that it's authentic for sure. And I know that then any repairs that's been done on this bag have been done by Louis Vuitton, which means that if there was an issue, whoever bought it in the future would still be able to get it fixed, which if I took it somewhere else, it would no longer be able to be fixed by Louis Vuitton. So it was worth it. I was pleased for them to do it. I know they obviously did it really well because it is a bag that they created. So all in all, it was a great experience.
Okay, thank you so much for watching. Sorry that I rambled on. That is something that I tend to do. If you have any questions about the repair experience, please let me know and just comment down below and say hi, if nothing else. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumb up, thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.